Hi all, Tom from C2 here. Today, I'm going to take you through the new 3CX V18 web client. For the purpose of this video, I'll be running the original V16 web client alongside the version 18 client to show you where changes have occurred. Firstly, let's take a look at the main screen after logging into the web client. By default, you will land on the people page. Straight away, you will notice a few things have either moved or no longer seem to exist on the main page. 3CX has gone for a minimal approach here, and with that, certain features that used to be visible are now tucked into submenus, removed or refaced. Let's go over a few of those now. Starting with the top section of the client, you will now see that a majority of what used to be on the right hand side has now moved to the left. With this, a few features have been compounded into one. Starting with the status and profile information, this has now become one, and it now also includes a visible presence indicator. This function includes the ability to set your status permanently as well as temporarily, as you could in V16. It also includes the Q logout button. Another thing you will notice is that the submenu under your extension icon has now been removed. These features have now been spread out into other sections and menus. Starting with the first three features listed, these have now been moved to the settings section. This is located here. In this general tab, you can now change your profile picture, update your login password and resend your existing or new credentials. Moving down the list, the QR code has now been moved to the far right as a standalone feature. This is also accessible from the settings menu as well. Lastly, all installers available to you are now located in the bottom left of your browser in an icon called Apps. Here you can find the CRM dialer extension for Chrome, your Windows desktop app installer, which is also located third from the top of your left hand navigation bar, and both mobile applications. Moving on to the dialer. This has stayed in a similar spot as it was in V16. However, this now has an updated icon and interface. The CTI function is also now integrated into the dialer itself allowing you to use an IP phone handset if you have it provisioned to your extension already. Another important feature now integrated into the dialer is the search function. This has been removed from the top navigation bar to allow it to function much like the V16's all integrated Windows client search function, making it easier to find contacts and other extensions in your system. A new addition to the top navigation menu is the new manual icon. This was originally on the left hand side of the V16 client, under the name Help. Moving down to the newly introduced secondary navigation bar, you will find a new set of features and some that have been moved from their original place in V16. Starting with the left hand side, you will see a Windows icon. Clicking on this will bring up a pop-up menu as such. This allows you to download the native Windows application. The Windows app and the web client are now visually the same. The main difference is that the Windows application runs natively on your computer and the dialer is a detachable element as well as your panel. If you have the ability to download and install the Windows client, we strongly recommend that you do this, as it will provide a more stable experience for you. Moving along, a nice new feature of the V18 client is the ability to start a new chat, call, create a contact and set up a meeting right from the navigation bar without having to navigate to their respective sections first. Moving on to the second part of the navigation bar is the ability to toggle personal contacts at the click of a button. This will display contacts saved just to your extension rather than the company phone book. The search bar located right next to that feature has remained the same from V16 to V18. Lastly, the group selector from the left hand side in V16 has been moved to a drop down menu in V18 on the right hand side as you can see here. Moving on to the third and final section of the V18 client is the restructured side navigation bar here on the left. At first glance, you can see that multiple features now look to be missing. However, these have simply been condensed into other features or have been placed into a submenu. Working from the top in V16, Contacts was its own feature on the left hand side. Moving to V18, Contacts is now within the three blue dot submenu, located here. Contacts is quite similar in both versions. V18 has simply condensed the ability to select which contacts are visible via a submenu on the right hand side, as opposed to the left hand side in the V16 client. 
Moving down to the chat section, this has also remained quite similar with a submenu now located on the far right hand side, as you can see here. The major difference here is that the start chat button has now been moved to the secondary navigation bar here, as it was down the bottom here in V16. Moving down to call history, this has simply been renamed calls in V18. This has also remained quite similar from V16 into V18, with the menu selector being moved to the right hand side instead of being on the left hand side as it was in V16. Moving to voicemails, these have now been moved into the three blue dot submenu in V18. Remaining much the same, 3CX has cleaned up the UI and made it easier to manage individual voicemails within the interface. You can also now add a number directly from a voicemail to contacts by selecting this button. Another feature that has been condensed into one is the schedule conference and web meeting functions from V16. These have now simply been turned into meet in V18. All the same features are still accessible. However, starting a meeting is now located here and scheduling a conference is located here. Second last feature located on the original V16 client is the switchboard. This has simply been renamed to panel in V18. Looking very much the same and in line with other sections, your left hand navigation bar has now moved to the top right. The other usable feature that has moved is the pop out function is now beside the menu selector. Depending on which queue you select, the pop out feature will give you the according queue panel to look at as a separate pop out window. Last but not least is the new settings tab located in the three blue dots here. Starting with the general tab, you can see that this section has been shortened and the chat settings have now been given their own tab. Moving down to the personalized tab, this has now been expanded in V18. It is now located under two menus, audio and video and view. Call forwarding from V16 has now been renamed to status in V18. This section has remained the same from V16 to V18. Moving down the list, greetings, scan QR code and BLF have remained the same from V16 to V18. The new addition here in V18 is the integration section. Well, I hope this has been helpful and gives you a good overview of the new client and how to access important features. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.